Hey guys, Paul here with a couple budget tips today. First of all, if you're still using a landline, you probably don't need it. Um, I got rid of my landline a while back and I still use DSL for my internet service. You know, one of these modems here connecting into my phone line. Um, no matter if you have got cable or you're going through DSL into a phone line, you do not need to keep your land phone line activated and pay for that monthly landline usage. You can still keep your phone as a DSL connection without paying the bill to the phone company to keep the line activated. You may have to do something with the text with your DSL provider though. They had to come out and do something to keep my phone line open so they could use it for the DSL service whereas I canceled my phone service with the phone provider. It may sound kind of confusing and, and it kind of is, but the bottom line is that you're eliminating a monthly bill on a landline that I just don't need. Now the phone company will tell you about the advantages of having a landline in case of an emergency when the electric goes down, your phone line still works. And that is a great argument. That's why I keep a couple batteries on hand the one that I've got in my phone right now that I'm filming this video on is a larger battery I picked up on eBay um, lasts all day long I'm on Android and I keep this stock battery charged um, in case of an emergency and that's a really good idea to keep a couple batteries in your arsenal that way if the power does go out you can get by at least an extra day um, with no power. Budget tip number two is to get rid of your TV. You really don't need a TV anymore. Um, I haven't had a television in years. Um, I just watch stuff on the internet, YouTube especially, right here. And also, in the past couple of years for sporting events, the internet has gotten a lot better. I watched the Super Bowl here in the States. Um, NFL football, the Super Bowl was aired, I believe, on CBS um, as well as was the divisional playoff uh, championship. So that was awesome. Watched the Super Bowl on my laptop as well as the NCAA uh, March Madness basketball is online. You know, you can watch all the games you want on the NCAA site. As uh, I know many of you are into football or um, American soccer and many of those games are streamed as well. As far as movies goes, you don't even need to subscribe to something like Netflix or whatever. I've watched several movies recently just on Google. Um, on Google Play you can uh, rent movies, you know, classic films for three bucks and it gives you a two-day rental on that once you begin to watch it. So there really is no need to watch TV. Um, the shows on TV are crap anyway. So those are two ways you can reduce your monthly expenses, getting rid of your landline, getting rid of your TV. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.